Hi Stampers, it's me Diane Damage from ddstamps.com and I am going to do just a real short video on how to make a paper flower. So what you're going to need is you're going to need any punch. I'm going to use this punch and I actually punched out five of these and then I sponge the edges. Just going around the edge with a little melon mambo. And then I came in and I'm going to punch another hole in the middle of this flower. And you could, you know, lay it down and find the exact middle of your flower, but that just isn't how I do things. So I'm just going to guess. I'm put it in there where I think I'm close to the middle, pretty darn close. So here are the five that I've done. Um, and I've already sponged them, got them all ready. Oh, I forgot my scissors. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come through here. One of them you're just gonna leave flat. One of them you're just going to snip right in the middle. One of them you're going to cut out a petal. One of them you're going to cut out two petals. One of them you're going to cut in half. And then you're going to cut it again. Actually, you don't need to because you have two and one here. So basically it's six, five, four, three, two, one. Um, and once you've done that, then I take my bone folder and just curl my edges back. I like to use the tip of my bone folder and I curl all my edges back on every one. I probably should have done this. Before you were watching me. But that's all right. It'll show you how quick this flower goes together. Like I said, you do it to every layer. <laughs> Even the one petal layer. And then once you have them all done, so once you have it, I like to use green glue for this. So you leave your one layer flat. You're going to add, take off the end. You're going to add a little glue to that. Fold that over. Add a little glue to that petal. Fold that over. Add a little glue to this petal. Fold it over. And obviously you do this to every set of petals. Gets a little harder as they get a little smaller. And then the last two, you just fold. You're gonna kind of fold in on each other. I'm gonna add a little glue. And bring it around. And then the very last one, you're just going to totally roll around like that. And if you want, you can just add a little touch of glue there just to hold it together. Not really necessary, but that's how you do it. Then you're going to come in, and because you have those holes there, these flowers stack really nice and they lay flat. And you just stack in each layer like this. And to put that all together, I like to stack them. And then bring in my hot glue mat, add a big blob of glue. Take my stack of flowers which aren't so nicely neat anymore, but just go ahead and restack them right into that glue. And really, there's no rhyme or reason, you just have to get them in there. And when that dries, you have a flower. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. I'll show you a flower I did with um, earlier, sponging some of the new Coastal Cabana ink on it. And I just think they turned out really cute. Um, and then I did one here 
using some new of uh, some new um, pattern paper and sponging, and then added some washi tape onto a container that used to carry brads. Made a cute little gift box. So there you have it, a pretty easy flower. You could decorate all kinds of boxes, um, cards, gifts, frames, wreaths. Anyway, you can do them in any color. We have lots of them. Hey, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, you might want to do that because I send out lots of ideas and samples. And um, also, you know, like me on Pinterest or Facebook. Anyway, thank you and have a great day.